Like us, Christ Jesus was tempted in every way. That's why we must draw near to him so we gain confidence from his spirit, finding mercy and help when we're in need. I know a guy, smart, capable, looks all right, does pretty good, but nothing's ever been his fault. He can't apologize, not that he copped to being difficult, but every situation is someone else's problem. His first wife, a psycho. His new wife, unstable. His side piece, he can't trust her. That's because women are all monsters. He's a magician. In any circumstance, he works a little sleight of hand. Oh, man, you gotta see. We're both at fault, but it was really you. It wasn't me. You set it off, see? I only did what I did because of what you did before I did anything. I was dealing with you. Bro, some people. Maybe just people. People just want to justify. We want to point out what they've done, that they're to blame, that they're the ones, that they're the problem, because people like us, people DM us, people friend request us, post us, share us, tweet us, then ghost us. What gives? They hate us, because they ain't us. Play us. Enough. We're not enough. Not really. Not to blame. But it has to be somebody's fault. But whose fault can it be? Unless it's ours. It's ours. You gotta own it. It's mine. Don't be that guy. Harvey Weinstein, you think he's alone? Nice try. We can't handle the weight of our crimes. All the times we decide to shirk what's right and take what's mine. The more we pretend, the more we suppose, the more we feel sufficient, but we all know it's untrue. It's untenable. We can't hide it. It's unforgettable. At night, alone, we hear the voice, that song inside that sings the tune we cannot set aside. We've done wrong. We're wrong. It was wrong. They did it to us, sure, but in the end, we know we're wrong, and we gotta own it. Everyone I admire has told the truth about being wrong. They own it. The need for approval, their gluttony and excess, cowardice, lust, whatever. Their recognition brings them down to earth and defines them. They don't hide. Stop hiding. hiding. We can't deal with the sins we lie about, sneaking around, hiding out, pretending the fault isn't ours. It's ours. See? It and deal with it. And if you can't deal, be real. Get real. Find religion. Meet your maker, Quaker. He's the one with whom you gotta deal. So take it up with him. Get healed. Don't hide that ish. Let it reveal your crimes. It's time. He's yours and says you're mine, so be his. Let him own what you can't hold, what you can't feel, and come, come clean. clean. Christ became sin, even though he had never sinned, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. your chest, a sigh, a shudder, something you can't express. This weightlessness, it comes off of you. It's all on him. There it goes. He overthrows because he's paid the price. He sacrificed. He satisfies. Are you satisfied? Because he's looking at you. He's telling you all your sins. All your sin comes off of you and onto me. Off of you and onto me. All of you come onto me. Cause all of you get all of me. our tears. It shouldn't be him. We shouldn't need him. But mistakes were made. On accident, nothing good. But we're feeling bad until he comes, until he goes. Off he goes. The scapegoat. It's come from you. He bears it up. And he's telling you that all your sins come off of you and onto me. Off of you and onto me. All of you come onto me because all of you get all of me.
see him come. A welcome king, healing all your fears. No more burdens, no regretting, not depressed, no more bloodletting, because your king has got you. Your king has come. He relieves you, alleviates you. So own up to your flaws. Give them up. It's all he wants. It's all he says. They got to come off of you and onto me. Off of you and onto me. All of you come unto me because all of you get all of me. Lord, we cannot see your face because of our sin. Deliver us from our proud desires so we may draw near and find refuge in Christ. God chose which goat got smeared every year. One goat into the woods to disappear with every malfeasance. Don't you believe it? They chased it with thorns screaming year after year. One goat would go until the wilderness became the place to stow wickedness. That's where the goat goes. That's where our sin goes. And we know how heavy our sins are. Hawking around our burdens like a grand bazaar. Weak need and bow back because of how damned we are. We need that goat to go away. Namaste. If not for him, we'd be the goat and can't bear anyone to know. And so we hate the goat because we need him most when we're bloody and bleeding. Our ugliness can Seated, dirty, and feeded, so we chase off the goat. But next year's requirement grows every time we sow our wild oats, and then we need another goat. That's Christ, says Paul. He had no sin and became sin for us all. Slandered and smeared, chased off while we cheered, the Lord laid upon him the iniquity of all here. Christ goes where the goat goes. And when God is your goat, all your sin disappears.